Everyone knows I'm a big, huge fan of menstrual discs, so it seems fitting that I do an updated review on the Nixit, which is probably the coolest packaging of any menstrual disc or any menstrual cup I've ever seen. Hi, I'm Kim Rosas. I'm a period product educator, specifically reusable products like menstrual cups and menstrual discs. And that's what we'll be talking about today. If you're new to this concept, make sure you check out Period Nirvana, which is my website, periodnirvana.com. I have lots of educational articles and resources and videos, including a really helpful quiz to help you find the right menstrual cup or menstrual disc for you. And the product I'm reviewing today is one of the results, Nixit. So it might be the right product for you. If you're shopping for these products, any menstrual product, but also Nixit, you can find it on period.shop. And that's for US only, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Now don't forget to subscribe and let's get to the review. The Nixit is a one size fits most reusable menstrual disc made out of medical grade silicone. Nixit is one of my favorite brands of reusable menstrual discs and it's been around um, for quite a while. It's uh, not the oldest, not the first, but they have been on the scene for a good bit. And this is their packaging. I love it. Um, it's a magnetic closure box. Amazing. I love the imagery, just a big red period. And it matches the big reddish coral actual product. So um, if we're talking about branding and packaging, this is probably in my top three <laughs> of any menstrual product. But if you're looking into this product, that is not what you care about. You care about how to use it and what it is. First, a little bit about menstrual discs for those who are new to this concept. Nixit actually calls themselves a menstrual cup. I disagree, and I know we will always disagree on this point, um, but I think it's confusing if we're teaching people how to use each product, or me, an educator and an advocate. You know, here's how to use a cup. Here's how to use a disc. This is not a cup. This doesn't go in like a cup. It doesn't sit like a cup. And it has advantages that only discs have. And by calling it a cup, it, it convolutes that. Um, one advantage that a menstrual disc has over a menstrual cup is that it is a flat fit. So you can have penetrative in intercourse with it in. Um, in the model, this is um, not the best model for this, but essentially you have this room for penetration. Um, the fact that it is suction free, meaning the disc doesn't create a seal or a suction. It is propped into place against the pubic bone and it doesn't have to make this perfect 360 degree contact with the vaginal canal, uh, which is more like a tube. It sits in this place in the body called the vaginal fornix and this model is a little exaggerated for the sake of fitting products because plastic doesn't stretch. But it gives you the idea. It is a, a larger tinted area below the cervix, which is why products like the Nixit or the Flex Disc or the Soft Disc before that, Soft Cap, um, those products fit. They look huge, so they look scary and intimidating, especially when you compare the diameter of, um, like this is a higher capacity cup, but it's still an average diameter, to this. They just sit differently, that's why. And by calling this a cup, it makes it confusing. Suction free also is better if you have an IUD. Um, I'm not gonna get into the specifics, but there is a study and I'll link it in the video description. It's periodnirvana.com slash IUD. And I basically just share some information about cups or discs for people with an IUD. And the consensus is from the most recent study that there's a higher expulsion percentage rate for people who use menstrual cups versus other menstrual products. I did my own digging in a database where FDA logs complaints, it's called MOD, and I wanted to see, are there more instances of IUD expulsion for menstrual discs or cups? Um, in that process, I couldn't find any instances of an IUD expulsion with a menstrual disc, no matter what I looked for. I looked specifically for all the brands, I looked specifically for that phrase, um, various takes on that and I couldn't find any, uh, whereas I found quite a few listed on the menstrual cup device list of um, what they call um, side effects or something. So, uh, you know, I've done my own research and I have also paid attention in the communities that I've been part of for all these years and I don't see the same feedback where someone with 
um, a menstrual disc has said, oh, the menstrual disc removed my IUD, whereas you do hear more people say that a cup removed their IUD. Now, how it removed it remains to be seen. The study doesn't really um, say, was it suction? Was it the user error grabbing the strings? I've talked to OBs. Some of them don't agree that the suction from a cup is enough to remove it. But the fact is, it has happened. Um, and if it were me personally, um, I think I would probably be more comfortable with a menstrual disc than a cup if I had an IUD. And I've never used a cup with an IUD. And so, um, you know, that is up to you. But one thing I recently did is I added the question on the quiz, do you have an IUD? That way I can point you towards a suction-free option instead of a menstrual cup if that's what you're more comfortable with. You get to make that choice. You can still use a menstrual cup if that is your decision, uh, understanding the risks and precautions you can take. Um, this ended up being a whole thing about IUDs, sorry. Um, but just want you to know that there are different options. Knowing the risks, you get to make that decision. Um, and always talk to your care provider if you have questions. I am not a medical professional. And another benefit to a disc is that they just by default, almost all of them have a higher capacity than cups. The highest capacity cup, um, at least that I have in my possession, is Marula XL, 50 milliliters. There's another one, 51 milliliters from Lolly Cup XL. And it has, this one has a rounded base, it holds more. But if you have a lower cervix, um, you have less choices for menstrual cups that hold more. This is the Marula one size, it holds 30. You can use a Nixit or other reusable menstrual discs with a lower cervix, and this one holds around 70. So even though you have a lower cervix, you can hold more. And the other thing that Nixit does and other reusable discs is that it auto dumps. And this is like a feature that I didn't know was a thing until I knew it was a thing. And then it was like, oh, it makes so much sense. So I was on the toilet and, you know, using the toilet, it might not even have been a bowel movement. It was probably just going to pee and there was a ton of blood and I thought my disc was leaking. And it turned out that um, over time I found this phenomenon where when you go to the bathroom and your disc is in, the muscle coupled with squatting can push this uh, down enough. It tilts and some of the contents empty. Mistral fluid is very viscous. It's not just going to dump out cleanly. There will be some inside left. And for me, I don't have to do anything. It just goes right back into place. Other people do have to reach in with a clean finger and replace to make sure it stays tucked. Um, that's one of those things you'll have to figure out on your own. Not everyone likes auto dumping, but it's caused by the disc being either a little too big or a little too small. Um, Nixit would probably, if it auto dumps, be something a little on the big side because it's one of the larger discs. So it kind of comes untucked a little bit because it's a wider diameter and then hopefully goes back into place for you. I love it, and I think it gives you longer wear time on a heavy day, which is great. Um, for those who have a super heavy period, it's a really good option to look into. It's just the one, one fold, which is why people don't believe me. I say menstrual discs are actually a little bit easier than menstrual cups to insert. They're like, I don't believe you, and I'm like, actually, it's easier. The biggest difference is how and where it's worn. When you insert it, you fold it long ways, with the bowl part facing up towards you, you direct it towards the tailbone, underneath the cervix, and then tuck the front end of the disc up behind the pubic bone, which is here. Most people will kind of feel it tuck into place, not everyone, um, and then that's it. It's actually very intuitive um, and not. So I know it, it, when you're new to it, it's not, but it, in fact, like as a menstrual cup user, it took me longer to get used to using discs because they are kind of easier to insert, and I was overthinking it. To remove a menstrual disc, this is where it gets tricky. Um, this is where menstrual cups kind of are a better product if you're new uh, in a lot of cases. Um, Nix it says to kind of hook, hook the rim and pull down, and in the model, I can do that just fine. I can, I can achieve that. Um, in my body, I cannot. I actually have to reach in, pinch the rim to remove, and this usually means blood gets all over my, my fingers when I remove it. Is that a deal breaker for me? Absolutely not. Uh, it wasn't my favorite experience at first, but I got used to it and I washed my hands. And so I'm kind of saying that to you. If you're interested in the concept of discs, um, nix it because it's just a circle. It doesn't have any um, handles or stems or um, you know, notches to remove it, it can be messier. So um, definitely over the toilet is recommended. 
And in the shower for the first time when you remove a menstrual disc is definitely the best place to be because then you don't have to think, am I going to get blood everywhere? Is it going to splash? Am I going to dump it everywhere? Um, it's not as much of a, of a worry or a stressor. So definitely shower. If it's full and you don't auto dump, it's going to be messier. If it's less full, a lighter day, or you've been able to auto dump, it will be less messy. I do end up with blood on my hands and fingers. I didn't think to film. Um, I tried this, I think last cycle after I was done testing the reusable tampon applicator and the um, uh, cut buddy. So I had a very busy cycle and I was like, well, let me refresh my memory on Nixit because I had it, you know, I was like, I should film a, an updated review on this, but I didn't think about filming it because I had already filmed so much of my period. <laughs> so sometimes you're like, okay, I just want to go to the bathroom without a camera and a tripod or holding it and just have a period. So that's what I did. So unfortunately, I don't have a big bloody mess. What Nixit has that other discs don't, if you're looking at the suite of now available products, is that it's a very flexible, soft disc with a double wall rim. Nixit's base, their catch where the blood comes into is really, really thin, like petal soft. Um, and even though I was nervous when I first tried this and then when I first reviewed it, that maybe I would uh, catch it on a ring or it would tear. Uh, so far, it's been fine. In fact, one time I laid it on top of something and it had these little dents in it. And I was like, oh my God, I ruined it. And then the dents just kind of disappeared. And so I've had this for as, this particular disc as long as Nixit has existed uh, for several years. Um, and it's in great shape. So... That's a, a, that's a testament to the product and the quality of the manufacturing. Another thing Nixit has that no other disc has is that they are Health Canada approved, meaning that you can purchase this menstrual disc in Canada from retailers in Canada. It's so hard to find reusable menstrual products in Canada because Health Canada makes it uh, really a, a very long, expensive um, convoluted process from what I understand. I'm not a brand, um, but I've heard this from multiple brands. So if you, you know, have wanted to support period.shop and you live in Canada, I do appreciate it. And I get these emails and comments all the time. Like I want to support period.shop or I want to shop with you and support your business, but you won't ship to Canada. And I'm like, well, I, I can't. Um, at least I haven't figured out a way to as of now. So back to the product Nixit. It's like a fidget spinner. Uh, I can't stop squeezing it. Um, I've used this off and on for a really long time and it's because I love discs and I have uh, two favorites um, maybe even three now at this point and maybe even four soon who knows but I just reach for discs if I'm not having to test another product which is rare but I, I reach between the Luma and the Nixit the most although I will say I, I lean a bit towards Luma just because the firmer rim makes it a bit easier for me to insert. What I like about Nixit as a disc is it is the softest disc. So any, the firmness doesn't seem to be as much of an issue for comfort in most users with the disc because it's just sort of this dead space. There's not nerve endings there and it doesn't put pressure on the urethra or the, or the, the vaginal canal the way a cup does when it's inside. Cups kind of apply this outward pressure depending on the firmness. This doesn't have the same amount of contact. You just have this little rim where it's sitting there in this space and it doesn't have a lot of places to, to push against. Um, bladder pressure with menstrual discs is very rare, but if you have tried one disc, let's say you tried um, the disposable, which has a lot of pressure, it's very firm, or the Luma, which is firm, um, this is gonna be a softer, slimmer um, product. It does fold a lot slimmer for insertion. Um, so comfort-wise, when you put it in, it gets really skinny, that's a bonus. Um, something like the Luma, you know, tends to wanna bow out here and here. Um, you kinda of have to keep it folded like this, which this will tend to kind of push out, but it's so soft that it's a different experience inserting it. Um, and that goes to removal. Removal is messy. <laughs> It's like, it just can't lie. Removal is a big mess. Since I have to remove the disc by pinching it, so I'll pretend like this is me, because um, I kind of have to mime it when I do it to remember how it goes. Um, I pinch it, the blood can sometimes spill. But Nixit is so soft that it kind of stays 
slender when you remove it. I didn't lubricate it, sorry. So it looks like it's really hard. <laughs> it's not that hard. But it stays so slender, which is really nice. So this is the new core disc and it has that finger grip and I have a review on this one. But um, it's just a wider product or it expands more during removal because it's firmer uh, and a thicker rim. So it is, I wouldn't say it's painful to remove uh, for me, but for other people it is gonna open more because it has that outward pressure during removal. So when NYX it first came out, there just weren't that many menstrual discs to compare to. There was the Ziggy, and the Ziggy is a larger diameter than the Nixit, and maybe a touch firmer. And then the Luma, which is the one with the removal stem. And of course, there was also the Soft Cup, Soft Disc, or the Flex, basically the same thing. This one's the Soft Cup in pink, and it is a firmer product. Same thing. Oh no, I ripped it. It's gonna be a little bit thicker and wider pulling it out. So this is the Nixit and the soft disc. They're very close in diameter. Here's the Luma size medium. Now the Luma size short, obviously big diameter difference here. The Moonthly's large, much deeper rim. The Moonthly's small, Cora disc, which is smaller and firmer. And it removes by pulling the finger grip. And she period, the largest disc at 80 millimeters. Find disc measurements for all of these brands on thecupchart.com. I will say that as I talk to a lot of disc users, um, Nixit has definitely been a really, uh, a favorite of a lot of people. Uh, the biggest complaint I hear is that it's too big diameter and it comes untucked. Um, if you're looking for a smaller diameter disc, um, something like the Cora, or the medium Luma would be a good option. I don't really hear many people say that they need a wider diameter, but there is one from um, a brand in Singapore called She Period. This is really soft, like way flimsier than Nixit, and I thought Nixit was the thinnest. Um, this one's like very, very small rim, very, very flimsy. If you need a wider diameter, there's also the Ziggy, which is directional as well. If you think that it is still too messy of an idea and you don't want to do the pinch and remove, there's also um, potentially the Luma, which has a stem. And since there's no suction, you can use that. Or the Cora, but it is a smaller diameter and it's also firmer. Luma and Cora are both firmer and it has the scoop, but sometimes that turns. So you can watch my review on that. And I also have a review of Luma. So uh, it's nice to get the Nixit reviewed and now I've covered quite a few of the disc options. Um, and because I'm such a disc fan, you know, I, I like them all. I've had great success with Nixit. I've had great success with Cora. I've had great success with Luma. Um, I've had medium success with the Ziggy. I uh, actually had success with Moonflees, the smaller size from a comfort perspective. I haven't tried this one yet, so maybe I'll fit that in, but it's not a priority for me because uh, it's hard to get in the U.S. and very expensive. So I don't think there are a lot of people looking for a review on that. So I think the, the main conclusion is that it's a little bit of a messier disc if you're comparing it now to Cora or Luma on removal, but it is soft and that has a lot of advantages if that's what you need. Um, and it's just, just a simple product. It just is a disc. You know, there's nothing design wise that's super fancy. It has the double rim, but I feel like that doesn't do anything. Um, it's more just like, hey, we have a double rim. Um, I don't feel like that makes it less likely to leak because of how discs work in the body. Um, I think if one rim, it's fine. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. But um, the main thing I'll caution anyone using a disc on is um, just don't lose a grip. This one especially is very slippery. I have dropped this particular disc in the toilet at least twice that I can remember once I had a few drinks. And I just, woo, just dropped it in the toilet. So, um, you know, it can happen. Just boil it and you'll be fine. Another tip is if you do certain exercises, like certain kinds of squats, uh, where you might be bearing down and, and exercising in a way that simulates using the bathroom, definitely wear backup while you're trying out this product, Nixit or any other disc, just to know that it's not going to tilt and dump out the contents. It's rare, but it's happened. I've seen people report this. So, um, you know, it hasn't happened to me, but I don't do a lot of physical activity. My disc testing consists of 
you know, the most active I get is squatting to maybe take pictures of discs and cups in my studio. Usually I'm sitting at my laptop editing and writing and working on the store. So, you know, I'm not a runner. I'm not a squatter. I'm not a weightlifter. I'm not a swimmer. I'm not a horseback rider. Um, I'm really just a sitter. <laughs> Clearly had a lot to say because I just hit my maximum recording limit. So let's wrap it up. Let's go. Let's go. I was already at the end anyway. So I'll just say, hey, it's a good product. Is it going to work for everyone? No, that's why I love that there are different menstrual discs on the market now. If it's not the Nixit, it might be the Cora for you. If it's not the Cora for you, it might be the Nixit or the, the Luma or whatever. Um, that's, that's awesome. Like choices are great. Menstrual cups have had a lot of choices for a long time. Uh, it's about time we see more menstrual discs, and I know Nixit Cup, should I say Nixit Cup, so for search reasons on cl closed captioning, Nixit Cup, Nixit Disc. Um, I don't even know if that does anything. I don't know anything about that. Um, so mm -hmm. if you want to try the Nixit, I'd love it if you'd purchase it at period.shop. It's one of our best sellers for a reason, so if that gives you confidence, that's great. And also we have reviews. So check out the reviews on Nixit. That's going to be another perspective, another point of view to let you know what you might be getting into. Every product is different for your body. So keep that in mind. But it's different bodies who are reviewing them to give you their perspective, whether it worked for them or not. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at period nirvana. You can follow me on TikTok where I do a lot of disc and menstrual cup education, little bite sized nuggets of video education. Uh, I'm at Period Nirvana there and Facebook group. Join that and ask other people questions if you need it. It's uh, link is in the description, but you can just search Period Nirvana community. Make sure you subscribe for more long winded videos about products or uh, guides. And I have a real hard time saying goodbye. I feel like this is a very Midwestern goodbye or is this a Southern goodbye where we just kind of slowly walk out to the car and then we have another 10 minute discussion at the car. I feel like I'm at your window right now. Like, hey, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe. And also if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for being here. I will catch you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> I haven't tried the, ah! this one especially is very slippery. This one.